all my soak away crates. Let me make me electrician. He's gonna whack in through there. Right, so a little idea what I was thinking. What I'm gonna do is need me tonight, do you love? Yeah, you need to put it in place. All right, I'll put it in place. All right, all right. That's the soak away right there. So I want to get it done. If I can get this connected. Loading it in there. I called in the old timer to give us an hand while I got a couple of hours. And then I can put the sheet in. And uh, well, I'm bang level. For the people that don't know, this is called a Taran. Then that was a funny old job we just had getting that in. So there's that one all wrapped up. See the things I do, <laughs> the things I do for my family, my wife, hell of a man, hell of a bloke. The hours I put in a day is unbelievable. Part of the reason why I needed these bits, I've got to drill a hole out. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Once I get this started, I'll show you what I'm going to do. That is a proper tight fit. So come out, and then if you come out underneath, yeah. nothing will be above ground in your lounge. It'll just be wicked. All Six mil SWA. Right, so we just reeled off a load of the cable. Got a load of old koi pipe. There she is. I don't have a clue. Leave the electrics to the professionals. Get it done properly this time. Where the tap is at the moment, I'm going to get the water supply because I'm thinking about fitting gas to my pond for heating the pond. So thank your mother for the rabbits. Just got home from work. What I'm going to do now, I've got some cable ties. That's the soak away right there. So what I've got to do, cable tie up all of the crates, make sure they're all linked together. I've got to put a load of pea gravel in the ground. As you can see, it's not so sunny today. It's a real cloudy day. Just check the weather forecast. They've issued out a load of rain for the next week. I've done my water test on the soak away. Absolutely pucker. I put three buckets of water in there. Just wanted to see how quick or how long that water would last. And within 10 minutes, that water completely disappeared. So the soak away will work an absolute treat. That's all my soak away crates. Looking through the manual, making sure I've got all of the crates the right way round. The cable ties together, make sure they're all solid so it's all one compact unit. I've got a load of pea gravel to do to start with. I've got a load of this chipping. I'm going to scoop in all of this chipping up through here. Chuck a load of the chipping down into the hole as well. I'm also going to chuck loads of this into there. Probably put a good foot of this underneath the bottom of this hole. Start with what I'm going to do after I've got all the gravel in. I'm going to lay that sheet in the ground so it covers all the way up over. Then I'll put the crates in. Then I'll wrap the sheet up. Let's just crack on and let's see how we get on. One job at a time. Not really worried about connecting this up, but if I fill up the hole, get it ready, that water will just run into there anyway. So I want to get it done. If I can get this connected, then I will. But this is the job tonight. I've got a few hours, just as well get it done. Right then, so I just put about a foot of gravel in the bottom. Next job, I want to put about half a foot pea gravel in, and then I'll put the crates in. Loading it in there. I called in the old timer to give us an hand while I got a couple of hours. John's gonna help us for a little bit. Get it in there. And uh, well, we'll just get the job done a bit quicker. Happy days. Making sure it's dead level. And then I can put the sheet in. Make sure everything's pucker, as it should be. All of the pea chippings in on bang level all the way across the board, that way and that way. So, uh, happy, happy days. Perfect, exactly what you need. Get the taram in, then put the crates in. For people that don't know, this is called a taram. It's like a membrane. So what, it, what this does, it protects any of the mud and silt and rubbish getting into the crates themselves. It basically prolongs the life of the soak away. Let's just get it in there and get it done. That's the taram all in. It's like putting a pond liner in or underlay, pretty much the same sort of thing. And then this here will stop any of the mud and the dust going into the crates and help prolong the life. That was a funny old job we just had getting that in because, well, I learnt my mistakes. If you're going to cable tie these, cable tie them one at a time. So put one in, cable tie, put one in, cable tie. Trying to get the whole lot in in one hit. What a job. But we got it in there. And now we're bang on level. He's level both ways. I've double checked it. I just thought I'd get, get the film out to show you. I'm also lovely and plumb in line with my connection that needs to come into here. 
I can pick either of these holes. I'm probably going to pick this one, put a 90 on it, and bring it up to here so it's got a bit of playing room. Well, I don't know yet. We'll get to that when we get to it. But both of them are dead in line with the pipe that needs to be connected over there. So there's that one all wrapped up. You are supposed to put some sort of tape on it. Like, I can't really see the benefit of the tape. I've lapped it over that way. I've lapped it over that way. It's lapped over that way. The waterproof tape that you're supposed to put on. I really can't see the, the benefit of what it will do. Time it's all filled in with gravel. It will be absolutely perfect anyway. I've got another sheet to go over the top of that before the gravel goes in. On the sides, I've got a good 150, 200 mil around the whole lot of it. So there'll be plenty of room for the gravel to compact it all in. And this thing won't go nowhere when it's all compacted in. I've made sure that I'm lined up so I can connect this one into there. I've got to put some gravel in there as well. So I'm going to start chucking some gravel in all the way around the outside of it. Make sure it's solid. It ain't moving. It's perfectly level. I'm going to crack on with that. Dust to dust and ashes to ashes. That is the end. <laughs> right, so we're coming up. We're getting there, but the bag's getting empty. So what we're going to do, just pour this out. Like that. And then we'll level it in a minute. Get it in there. See, there's me doing a job, and then I get to call from the wife. What happened with the old tumble dryer? He just went pop this morning, so I had to order one of them as well. More readies I've got to spend. But let's get this in place, because the wife's struggling. So you need me tonight, do you love? Yeah, you need to put it in place. All right, I'll put it in place. Come on, then. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't go whinging at me, love. Oh, you got the video away. I was gonna say, don't go whinging at me because I'm dirty if I get your new washing machine or tumble dryer. What are they called? Tumble dryers, dirty. Just get on with it. Don't scratch it. We got much, do you, love? I like it tight. I do like it tight, but this is tight. There she blows. There she is. Thank you very much. You still got the video going. See the things I do? <laughs> the things I do for my family, my wife. Hell of a man, hell of a bloke. Right, there's that job done. Let's carry on. Right, so as you can see, all that pea gravel is completely gone. I filled it right in. Loads of pea gravel. What I'm gonna do now, because I've ran out of pea gravel, I don't really wanna buy another bag. Not yet anyway. But what I've got to do, all of this has got to go. We're not having this chipping anymore. So instead of me buying another bag, what I'm going to do is all of the clean gravel on the top. As you can see, this is like 10 mil gravel. All of the gravel on the top, I'm going to use down the side. I'm going to leave the dirty gravel because that will be used afterwards for when I just do a final layer over the top. So I'll use that up first, put that in there, fill in the sides. I'm going to leave this bit completely I'm just going to leave that bit until I get to it. But tonight for the rain, I'm just going to connect a pipe to there and just let it sit down into here and I'll work out that on another day on the weekend. But let's get this done, get it in there. I'm losing sunlight. I need a crack on. The hours I put in a day is unbelievable. But I just thought I'd show you what I do every night of the week. Right, so the other day I went to B&Q and I bought some bits Part of the reason why I needed these bits, I've got to drill a hole out. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Put this together, drill a hole out, show you what's going on, and I'm going to connect the pipe in. So what I'm doing, I'm just cutting a stubby pipe because I'm going to connect the collar onto this to get my right angle. So this pipe here is literally just to go into the soak away crates. Once I get this started, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So the end of it, I want to make sure that it doesn't butt up against the crate. And then if anything does go in here, I'll just show you an idea of what I'm going to do. Lovely jubbly. I'll just show you what I was going to do a sec. Right, so a little idea what I was thinking. What I'm going to do is drill a load of holes into this bit of pipe for the pure fact if this goes in against the crates all the way in, if anything does get choked up there, which I don't think it will because it's got to go into a silt trap first, but if anything does over the years, 10, 20 years time, 
least if I put a load of holes, the water can still escape. So that's my plan. Drill them in there. One. Drill bit come out. Can't have that, can we? See, now I've got a load of holes in there as well. So any of the... I know this will probably will never get blocked up, but if it ever does, that water's got somewhere else to slowly seep out as well as the rest. So I'm gonna carry on doing this up to about here. Next bit, I've just had a look at the instructions and what you've got to do, you've got to cut the tram out in a cross section like that. So the tram folds out and then what will happen, it will fold around the pipe and then I cable tie the tram around the pipe itself. So what I've got to do is make sure where the hole is, dead centre to the bottom, to create myself a flap. It's big enough. I'll tell you what, it's quite awkward to cut this stuff. So what I'm going to do, I can't actually get that hole saw in here without messing up my terrain. So I'm just going to cut chambers out so I can push my pipe in. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off. So I've just cut all them out, like so. Looks like I've got one left in there. Nope. So now what that allows me to do, I do have to make a little cut into this bit as well, just to get my pipe in a little bit there. Right then, so that is a proper tight fit. So I'm not gonna push it all the way to the back of the crate so it hits the crate. I'm just gonna bring it forward slightly so the water's always got somewhere to go. Pull out my corners. I don't think anything's getting through that. That's double, double, triple skin. Zip that round the top. To hold that in place. There's that one. These nice and tight. And all I'm going to do here, what we'll do here is Put one line up through the pipe, a bit tighter, like so, there will be absolutely spot on. You can sort of see the idea where I'm at. It's getting a bit dark, so I'm going to carry on getting some more of this in. Light enough for me to video, I will, but if it's a bit dark, I'll show you what it's like in the morning when I get it all filled in. Just up to this pipe, I can't remember what they're called. So you can swivel, turn it and do what you want to it so then I can connect to that one. Let's get it done. As you can see, I cleared all of the gravel last night. Got rid of all of that and the rain come in. I filled up my hole, I put my pipe in. So any of the water that comes off of the conservatory in the house is actually running into there now. But yeah, it's been raining all night and it's raining for the next three days. So it's going to look like a mud pit out here by the end of that. But the dog is banned from the back garden. She's banned from the back because there's no way she can walk through that. But yeah, hopefully by the weekend I can crack on and do a bit more pond work. But I certainly can't get out there when it's like this at the moment because I've got to go to work. That is the only reason. Not because it's wet. I've got to go to work. Yeah, see, just about to go to work. I'm so glad I got that done last night. Got to go and feed the koi quickly. Just coming up to five to six and then uh, shoot off to work. Oh, we got a long day again today. I didn't finish until half 10 last night. Time I got sorted out, 12 o'clock, few hours sleep, crack straight on. So I called in my mate, my electrician. He's gonna whack in through there. I'm gonna video it as we go and we're gonna get the cable outside. But we've gotta be a bit careful with that water pipe. <laughs> Like a glove. To the pipe as well. Let's have a look. You have to get right down in there. Yes, happy days. That would be ideal. Just by looking at that. Yeah. Because if we come out, un then if we come out underneath, yeah, nothing will be above ground in your lounge. It will just be wicked. All below. All right. So Mitch has got a bit of a plan. 
he's going to do it so it's hit away as best as possible just working out the height of my floorboards inside the house to outside just hooked up the old extension lead he's just making sure we're at the right height and then he's going to drive it right in there so uh perfect engineering come out just beside the water pipe absolutely perfect and so this is the cable that he's going to feed through six mil swa definitely good stuff what's it catered for mitch up to 32 amps in it huh? 32 amps that'll, ca that'll ca capable of handling up to 40, up to 40. So we'll stick, on stick on a 32 amp absolutely banging happy days Right, so we just reeled off a load of the cable. What we're doing here, I've got a load of old koi pipe. So, because this is all gonna have pea chipping in behind the back, I thought just as well use up the pipe, run the cable through the pipe as well, all the way up through, and then just help on the back of the pond wall. Not that it will matter, because it is armored cable, but just as well use up the pipe and make a little bit extra of it. Hopefully the cable will come out through here. You can see light down there anyway. Yeah. There she is. Hang on, go back slightly. Yeah, no push. There she goes. Right then, so uh, got all the cable all in here, plenty of room to play with. Just popped off the skirting boards. I'm gonna run it through here. Underneath here, right in behind the dishwasher. Don't need to pull this one off. And, uh, well, let me get in here and see if I can find it. So, uh, plimp boards are all on. The cable's tucked in behind the back of here yet, because on the second fix, until I get everything in place, sorry about me larder, but there's me larder. Show you what's happening. It's gonna go into this box here. He's sorting that out. He knows what he's doing. I don't have a clue. Leave the electrics to the professionals, get it done properly this time. So he's going to do that on the second fix. I'm leaving all of this off at the moment in the way of I'm not siliconing it back up. My next job is to get the water supply where the tap is at the moment. I'm going to get the water supply redirected, but I'm leaving this off because I'm thinking about fitting gas to my pond for heating the pond. If there's an option of me can do it, then that's the next job. But that's a whole nother story. I'm working out a plan about that. So plumber's coming round tomorrow and I'm doing it again, but I'm ending the video. So thank your mother for the rabbits and I'll see you on the next one.